Oh, hello. It's Dr. Stella Spark here, and I'm so excited to continue our adventure into the world of matter. Before we begin, I want to share something important with you. You know, sometimes when we're learning new things, we might think, this is too hard. I can't do it. But guess what? We can change those thoughts to help us feel better and learn more. For example, instead of saying, I'll never understand matter, we can say, learning about matter takes time, but I can do it. This is called positive self-talk, and it's like giving your brain a big, friendly hug. Let me tell you a story about our friend, Argo the Dinosaur. Yesterday, Argo was trying to sort objects by their properties, but he got confused. At first he said, I'm not smart enough to do this. But then, do you know what he did? He took a deep breath and said, this is tricky, but I'll keep trying and ask for help if I need it. And guess what? He figured it out. Just like Argo the dinosaur, we can all use positive self-talk to help us learn and grow. Today, we're going to explore the properties of matter we learned about last time. Here's what we'll discover in today's video. One, how to observe matter properties more closely. Two, how to compare different objects based on their properties. And three, how to group objects with similar properties. For our experiment, you'll need one, a pencil, two, a rubber band, three, a small rock, or if you don't have a rock, you can use a marble or a small toy car. Four, a cotton ball, or if you don't have a cotton ball, you can use a small piece of paper towel, a small piece of sponge, or even a soft sock. And five, a grown-up to help you. Pause the video to gather your items. Got everything? Great! Let's begin our scientific investigation. First, let's look at hardness. Pick up your pencil and your cotton ball. Which one is harder? That's right. The pencil is much harder than the soft cotton ball. Now, compare the rock to the cotton ball. Which is harder? Excellent observation. The rock is the hardest of all. Now, let's compare weight. Hold the small rock in one hand and the rubber band in the other. Which one feels heavier? Good observation! The rock is heavier than the rubber band. Now, compare the weight of the pencil to the rubber band. Which is heavier? Great job! The pencil is heavier than the rubber band, but lighter than the rock. Next, let's explore texture. Close your eyes and feel the cotton ball, then feel the rock. How are they different? The cotton ball should feel soft and fluffy, while the rock feels hard and maybe a bit rough. Now, feel the rubber band. How would you describe its texture? Interesting observations. The rubber band might feel smooth and stretchy. Finally, let's test flexibility. Try to bend the rubber band and then try to bend the pencil. Which one is more flexible? That's right! The rubber band is very flexible, but the pencil is not. Can you arrange these objects from hardest to softest? We have a cotton ball, pencil, rock, and a rubber band. Pause the video and write down your answer to arrange these objects from hardest to softest. Great job! Here's how I would arrange them. One, the rock being the hardest. Two, the pencil. Three, the rubber band. And four, the cotton ball, which is the softest. Remember, scientists often classify things based on their properties to help us understand the world around us better. Here's a challenge for you. Look around your room and find three objects. Try to describe each object using the properties we've learned about. 
Is it hard or soft? Heavy or light? What's its texture like? Is it flexible? Write down all these answers on a piece of paper and then share your observations with a grown-up. Let's do a quick recap of what we learned today. One, we can compare objects based on their properties. Two, objects can be arranged or grouped based on similar properties. Three, some objects might have very different properties from others. And four, observing and comparing helps us understand matter better. Wow, you've all done some fantastic scientific observations today. And now, do you feel that? There's that special tingle in the air again. Oh, my test tubes and beakers. Look at that glowing light. It's getting brighter and brighter. You know what that means. It's another spectacular Argo star. This Argo star is shining for you because of all the amazing comparing and observing you did today. In our next video, we'll learn how these properties can help us choose the right materials for different jobs. This is Dr. Stella Spark, your friend from the Argo Prep Science Universe, signing off. <laughs>